Hi, and welcome to the early years. Welcome back to term two, a fun-filled term we have ahead of us. It's a great opportunity just for me to let you know of some of our um, routines and some of our schedules that we have in the early years. Just a reminder that every second week on our even weeks, we have our early years sector assemblies. So these are usually held in the PAC or the MPC and are hosted by one of our classes. You are always welcome to come along to our sector assembly. So it'd be great to see you there. On the odd weeks though, we do have the whole college assembly which we host in the MPC and that's for all the P to 12 um, students. So if you are ever free, please grab a coffee from our college cafe and come along. It would be great to have you there. A new term also sees us welcome some new families to the school. So we'd like to um, welcome them to our early years community. And if um, as current families, could you please um, make, make the time to say hi and um, welcome, to, welcome them to our community. So welcome to the Pickett family and the Nagiri family. So welcome. Um, term two also starts seeing us prepare, surprisingly, for 2025. So this is the time where we host some come and try days for our families um, who are interested in coming across to the college. So anyone from year one to year 12, um, or year 10, sorry, that can come um, try be a OLSCC student for the day and have a go at what it really feels like and what we do here. Um, if you would like or have any friends that you think would be interested in coming and trying a day at our school, could you let them know to contact the school office and register for that. Um, similarly, we have a preppy for a morning day also coming up. Now this will be on Wednesday the 15th of May from 9 till 10.30. Now this is for our students who are interested in applying um, for our college who perhaps haven't got any current students here at our school. So you, um, the parent and their prep student or prep to be, would come along and spend the morning in one of our prep classes, have snack attack with the, the current preppies and get to get um, a learn and feel for our school. So if you know of anyone who would be interested in coming to prep in 2025, please let them know to contact the college office to register um, to attend our prep before a morning. We look forward to seeing lots of new families experience, experience a day in our prep classrooms, as well as our early years classes for any of those year one, two, four students for our early years. Now, I'd also love to take this opportunity to welcome our middle leader for curriculum. Um, her name's Louise Peavy, who you've met previously, but just as a bit of an update with our, with our current diocesan approach to reading. So there's been some changes in the curriculum this year, but also a new approach to how we teach reading in our schools. So I've invited Louise to come along today to be able to share just some of those key points and maybe a few differences or similarities that you still may see across our college. Welcome, Louise. Thanks, Kristen. Hi everyone, so our new diocesan approach to reading uh, really focuses on five key areas and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that today. Um, the first area is our systematic phonics instruction. So that's all about letter sound relationships and the use of what we call decodable text to teach children how to read. It's the first steps of reading, it's the learning how to read. So you will have some of your children come home with decodable texts with, which focus more about the letter sound relationships. The next part um, of our diocesan approach to reading is the whole class read alouds. So this is where students are still um, immersed in lots of authentic texts that they learn about stories, they learn about, about vocabulary, and it really builds their background knowledge on topics, which we know helps with their comprehension. This is something that you guys can do at home with your kids at any time. Please read to your children if they ask questions about um, meanings of words. It's really important that you explain them because that's where they build their background knowledge on lots of topics. The third thing that we look at is uh, the diagnostic check-ins, which is basically all about just how we test children in reading and then not necessarily where they're sitting, but where our next steps are with that student. So they students will have regular check-ins with their diagnostic testing, will regularly be testing their letter sound relationships and their comprehension through probe tests. And that is something that has, can, has happened here before. So not always, not a new thing. Um, the last thing that we will be looking at is individualised support and that stems from that diagnostic testing. That basically is where we can come up with solutions that assist students if they are having some um, troubles with their reading or if they are having troubles with their comprehension and um, that basically keeps us 
um, informed for next steps of reading. So there are some really key areas that the diocesan approach to reading covers and it's probably all about we, we come to school learning how to read and we want children to be able to then read to learn as the goal at the end. Thanks Kristen. Thanks Louise. Well, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all up around the college and perhaps at one of our, our um, early years assemblies soon. See you soon.